Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Ramona Home. I'm so excited you guys are here today because in this video, I'm gonna share with you ideas on how you can decorate your lanterns for Christmas. This is a video compilation of some of the ideas that I've shown you in the past, but I'm gonna put them all together plus a new one to inspire you to decorate your lanterns for indoors and outdoors. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video and share with your friends. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing because you will not want to miss what's next this Christmas season here at Ramon at Home. Are you guys ready? We're gonna start with a lantern on a plain turn. It's gonna be done in two parts. First, we're going to decorate the lantern. Keep watching. All right, everyone, so to decorate the lantern to match the plain turn, what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and make a bow. We're gonna make a swag with a bow and it's gonna be very dramatic, very Ramon at home. So I'm gonna start by giving this vintage ribbon. I'm gonna tail about this big. I'm gonna drop it on the floor. I just wanted to measure that tail and I'm gonna make a kind of dramatic bow, but not too dramatic. I just want it to be big, but just a few loops to make a difference. So what you do is you basically just do a little loop in the middle. Once again, you pull down like this to measure to make sure that they are um, the same height or length. And then you're gonna make a bow like so. And if you have not seen the video where I show you how to make a bow, I'm gonna link it up right now. I make three different types of bows. So then what I'm going to do is, I'm actually just gonna do a four loop bow and I'm gonna cut right here. Then what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and add some of this gold ribbon. But I just want to do, because I have strips like this, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and do loops. I'm going to add one loop right here, like this, and just let the, the tails hang. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add another loop like this. And as you guys can see, it is super easy. I'm actually going to go ahead and put it over here on this side, like this. And then with one of my pipe cleaners, I'm gonna go through the middle all the way, and then I'm gonna pull back, and I'm gonna tie it very, very tight. That way our bow doesn't come undone. Just swirl it around like this, open it so you can use that to attach, then go ahead and give this bow a fluff, all the tails, or your bows like this. Make sure they all show. Now, as you guys can see, I'm just using that gold as an accent, like I used it on that lantern, or the planter. All right, just like this. So I'm gonna put this right here for now, and we're gonna get started with the swag. And for that, I'm going to use actually a garland. And I already measured, I wanted to go sweeping down that way and forward this way. So the right here is going to be where everything attaches from which I call my core. Let me remove this guy. I literally just purchased this today. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and add one of these elements that we have from the, from the uh, plantern. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add this guy right here that I'm gonna go ahead and attach with my bow. I'm gonna add all of this to my bow right here. This is the tricky part, and this is where I say that I wish I had four hands because, you know, it would help, <laughs> but we make it work. All right, like this, and then you pull really tight. Where are you? There you go. Just pull really, really, really tight, and then you twist around like this. We'll fluff in a second, but we need to make sure that this is secured. So as you guys can see, you can see the bow, you can see the tails. And then I have a little bit of red up here. So that's where I'm gonna insert my ornament cluster. I'm gonna go ahead and just insert it right here. And it's all about finessing, you guys. You can play with it and then you can finesse at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach like that. How pretty is this? And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the top of my lantern, like so. And then we're gonna go back in and fluff all of this together. And once you have it all in place, what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and dovetail my ribbons so they look finished. This guy's right here. And as you guys can see, they're just swooping to one side. 
Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and insert the Santa to go with the ribbon right here. He's fairly heavy, so he'll all stay in place like that. Close your little door right here. And just like that, you have a beautiful lantern. So now let me show you what they look like put together. Stay tuned. Wasn't that just fun? I absolutely love that vintage ribbon, you guys. That was a great find. And I'm always looking out for a great ribbon that has somebody. Well, I have fun decorating the lantern, but now I'm gonna show you how I decorate the urn and how I put it all together. Keep watching. All right, you guys. So to decorate the urn for a fabulous outdoor plain turn with a lantern is going to be, of course, an urn. This is a cast iron urn that I purchased a few years ago at one of my favorite stores called Nail Hills in Kansas. We're also going to need a basic wreath, which we're going to use to attach to our items. We're going to be using a beautiful vintage ribbon that I found actually at a local thrift store, believe it or not. This is a beautiful wire ribbon with a Santa, with a vintage Santa motif uh, that is going to be used right here and also on the lantern. We're going to use our scissors, of course. We're going to use another ribbon that is going to be this gold one. Then, of course, we're going to use a variety of picks. I have the ones from the dollar store with the ornaments and then also I have this flocked snowy one that we're going to combine to give this lantern a lot of texture. Then also we're going to need another garland that we're going to attach that this garland I absolutely love because it has so much volume and it has cedar and pine and all kinds of goodies on it. So all right, the very first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and give this garland with the magnolia and the pine cones a flap already play pre-fluffed it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just lay it on top of this wreath right here and I want it to be a little bit loose and so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and attach with my bristles right here and you want to go all the way around so I'm going to go right here in the back and very loosely doesn't really have to be really tight um, so I was asked how do you secure this to the lantern and what you can do is you can actually um, use wire to wire it down so that's what i would do this is what you want to do is you want to go ahead and give him a fluff like this but we'll get to that in a minute as we continue to add our items and to do that what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go ahead and cut some strips of this ribbon right here and i want to do probably about i want to say probably about three feet and the reason i'm going to drop it on the floor like i always do so i want to do just tails this time i don't want to go around with a ribbon all the way around. So I'm just gonna do three of these tails and they're probably about three to four feet. So then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a loop right here like this. Make sure you fluff like this and then you put this guy forward and then I'm going to attach that with my bristles right here. Once again, I don't wanna go all the way around. I could go all the way around there wreath but i want to give it a different texture so and then i want some of these tails to hang over like this so just go ahead and dovetail your tails as you go i'm gonna go ahead and dovetail this guy right here like that and then i'm gonna go ahead and do one on the front i'm gonna go put my scissors right here thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this series i'm really having so much fun showing you guys all these ideas i cannot wait to continue there's so much more coming your way uh, for the holiday season. So I'm gonna go ahead and just attach this right here with my bristles holding down. You could also wire it if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna go ahead and with the bristles, you go ahead and give them a fluff. Like I said, just dovetail right here. And uh, when the season's over, you guys, I'm gonna show you how we can store all of our ribbons like this so you can use them again next year. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one more over here so once again just basically pinch right here do a cute little loop like this like if you were making a bow then strain it like that and then go ahead and attach with your bristles right here and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead first of all dovetail because i hate nothing more in the holidays than an um, dovetail and all right one more over here Perfect. And as you guys can see, I like how this draped down. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the same with the gold ribbon. So basically, I'm just going to go ahead and do some loops like this. And in between the red ones, 
What I'm gonna go ahead is I'm gonna go ahead and add the gold ones. Just adding those tails, and I want those tails to go wild. I don't want them to be too constructed. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another one over here between these two, like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do one on the back. So it goes all the way around, like this. And just like that, we have our ribbons. All right, so our next step is going to be to add some ornaments. Let me get those ready and I'll be right back with you. All right, everyone. So the main source of inspiration for this lantern and plantern was this Santa, this vintage Santa. It's actually a music box that I found at my local thrift store a few years ago. And he has a lot of gold and burgundy and red, and I just love the combination. So he is the source of inspiration for this. And I'm gonna put him to the side. And what I have done is you guys know that I love to decorate with my clusters of ornaments and I just want to head and cluster a whole bunch of them in red and gold to kind of tie in with the colors that we already have going on. And I just, what I did is I tied a gold one and a red one and look how I'm going to do it just with one hand. Uh, you can just go ahead and tie this to a bristle like this, just find the bristle and then just tie that around. And what I like about this is because it adds a small ornament and a big ornament then with this red one I just went ahead and add a big red and two gold so I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and attach to one of my bristles and just make sure that you swirl this guy around and he's not going anywhere because once that zip or that um, pipe cleaner attaches trust me when I say it ain't going nowhere so I'm gonna go ahead and attach another one right here like so oh my gosh I haven't said like so in a while then I'm gonna go ahead and do one in the back and I'm gonna save one for the top of our um, lantern. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one up here. Then the next item I have that I think would be super cute is these um, clusters of ornament and greenery from our dollar store. And I have four of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna basically go ahead and insert this guy going down. And then with one of the bristles, just go ahead and twist it into one of the ornaments and it all stay right there. And I have four of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach all of them. And as you guys can see, I like them to drape down. So just go ahead and flap all of these little ornaments and berries and pine cones and basically just go ahead and attach right here. And with one of the bristles, just go ahead and twist it in and it all stay right there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same out here. Once again, just with one of the bristles. And as you guys can see, it's looking really full and not a lot of items are being used. What I like about it is the tails of the ribbons flying. Instead of having the ribbon just souped and uh, twirled around, I also love this look. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these sitter picks. And so I'm gonna skip where I put the ornament. I'm gonna go ahead and skip a space between them and then I'm gonna go ahead and attach this guy right here. Once again, swooping down. That way it can give us some movement going down. And I have four of those, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach all of them. Thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this patio decorating idea. And also keep in mind that this can be uh, adjusted to any of the colors that you might be using in your own home decor. And also the plantern it can be any plantern that you may already have in your home. I just happen to have this one. And actually it's the only one that I have, so that's the only one I use all the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another one up here. I really love the way that lantern and urn turned out and it is perfect for your outdoors decorating. I love the colors, the textures, and that greenery was just absolutely exquisite. I really encourage you to give it a try because it was super simple to put together. But now I'm gonna show you a very whimsical that I think you're going to love. This lantern is done with a snowman and it is perfect for the snowman theme that we've done so far. If you guys have not seen the snowman theme Christmas tree and all of the other decorating, I'm gonna link it up right here right now so you can check it out. But right now I wanna show you how I decorate this lantern for Christmas. All right, everyone, for this lantern, what we're going to need is various snow picks. This can be something you already have on your stash or you can find these particular ones at Hobby Lobby. 
We're also going to need some of these Curly Q picks that came from Walmart. These guys were only $1.97 and they're super adorable and they're going with our color scheme. So I got four of this. We're of course gonna need one of these snowmen that also came at Walmart. He was under $10. We're gonna need a variety of ornaments on the lime green and red because that's our theme. And our theme for this particular lantern was determined by this ribbon that we used last year on our uh, wreath. And actually I'm using most of these things came from that wreath. If you guys haven't seen how I made that wreath that was here in the studio last year, I'm gonna link it up because I literally took it apart and those are the things that we're using. Not only we're gonna use this beautiful ribbon, but we're gonna use some accent red on this glittery ribbon from the dollar store or Dollar Tree, as well as this lime green right here that came from Hobby Lobby last year. All right, so let's get started. The very first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna go ahead and open my lantern and I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm actually gonna put this guy down for a little bit. I need to drop all of these ornaments into my lantern to create a base for my snowman to stand on. And as you guys can see, it is super easy, but the only thing I do recommend is to color scheme or color coordinate these particular guys right here, and they're all in the red and lime green because I wanted a little bit more of a fresh look to it. Just go ahead and place them like that. Once we have a base of ornaments right here on the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my snowman in here like this. And he's cute like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and close this guy right here and I'm gonna create the top. But to do that, I'm gonna put this guy over to the side so I can work on it. All right, the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some of these picks that came from Hobby Lobby. They also were on that wreath last year. So I'm gonna have two of these and I'm gonna crisscross them like this, creating a little swag. Then I'm gonna go ahead and come in with a snow one and put it behind it on the top. And then I'm gonna put it on the front on the bottom. That way you create a lot of depth and dimension. Just go ahead and get a little fluff right here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of my zip ties and I went to Walmart and bought a whole bunch of them. I got them in clear and I also got them in black and now they have them in green, which is perfect for projects like this. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie this very tight. Let's pull really hard. And with my wire cutter, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut right here. All right, so I'm gonna put that to the side. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my beautiful uh, ribbon that has some sequence in it, which was inspiration for this look. I think it just goes well with the lime green and the red. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna drop it right there and I wanna make a little bow. I don't want anything too extravagant, but I want the tail to be probably about eight inches. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do a middle loop like this. Then I'm gonna twist and I'm going to go ahead. You kinda have to measure, um, let your eye dictate how big the loops you want them to be. This is a medium sized lantern, so I don't want the uh, top to be overpowered by it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do probably about six inch loops. And I'm gonna twist and you always twist so that way your designer part of your ribbon shows. Then I'm gonna do one more, giving it probably about an inch, about an inch more. And then I'm gonna go ahead and twist and then I'm gonna go ahead and make one more loop. Uh, I'm gonna, since I have ribbon left, I'm gonna go ahead and do a six, three and three on each side. But keep in mind that we still have all the ribbons that we're going to add. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that right there. Twist, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pinch. You wanna make sure that you always pull up like this to kinda of measure them as you guys can see. If I pull up, they're about the same height. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut right here. Cut straight up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead my scissors, you know, the worst thing you can do with your scissors is cut wire because it dulls them up. So do not cut wire. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in with a pipe cleaner in red and I'm gonna drive it through the middle. I'm gonna pull it to the back and I'm gonna push back like this. Thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this holiday series for 2019. I'm having so much fun showing you guys. All right, so I'm gonna put this to the side because I'm gonna go ahead and use some of the red one now. And I'm gonna do uh, probably a longer tail because I want the red to be the accent. So I wanna do probably about a, a foot long. And then I'm gonna do a simple bow. I just wanted to pick a bow from the bigger one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this. Probably just four, four loops, but 
uh, a little bit bigger than the other one, like this. And because I ran out of uh, ribbon, I can always recommend that you go back in with a new piece of ribbon, because remember this ribbon is recycled from last year's project. I always just take my projects apart at the end of the year and then store my ribbons and all of my tools because I know we'll need them for next year. So I have three on one side, two, and then it's gonna be our third one right here. All right, I'm gonna let this drop real quick. Uh, I love this ribbon, however, it really sheds a lot, but it's so pretty to look at. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut right here. And then I'm gonna grab another of these pipe cleaners and I'm gonna drive it to the back and then I'm gonna twist. And then we're gonna put this to the side because we're gonna assemble them all together. But what I'm gonna do with this little one right here, I want it to be my longest tail. As you guys can see, they're staggering down. And that's a secret I can give you for a more designer look. You can always stagger your, your loops or your tails. So I'm gonna do probably another six. And this one is a smaller or a thinner ribbon. So this is gonna be on the background and just a little touch to kind of tie it all together. All right, so there's three. We're gonna twist to bring the pretty part up. Then we're gonna do another one. And you know what, to not waste any of these ribbons, what you could do is just continue to go till you run out of ribbon, like this right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and do one more. Then I'm gonna grab one of my pipe cleaners and I'm gonna go ahead and tie this all together, like so. There we go with the light so again. <laughs> I know some of you are taking tabs and probably doing a count on how many times I say like so, but I cannot shake it off, you guys. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my, my pretty ribbon, and then I'm gonna attach the red one. And the way I do this is, I'll show you guys real quick. I grab both of the pipe cleaners like this. Then I'm gonna grab this other one and I'm gonna separate both of the pipe cleaners. As you guys can see, I'm doing it with just one hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin those together and create just one pipe cleaner. And we're gonna do the same with the other side. You wanna make sure that you do it as tight as you can. Once you have that, what you wanna do is you wanna come in with the last one and you wanna do the same. You separate them and then you put them together and you just create one pipe cleaner instead of having three. And then what we need to do is we need to go back in and we're gonna fluff our bow um, and make it look beautiful. So what you need to do is just at this point, take your time to bring some of the green, some of the red all together. So I'm gonna get you fluffing this bow and I'll be right back with you. All right, everyone, after you fluffed out your bow and you have it all ready, it is time to assemble the whole piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring my snowman back into the picture and I'm gonna put my bow down because I want to attach my swag to the lantern first. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these pipe cleaners right here. I'm gonna put it through here and twist it one time in the back just to create a loop where we can attach to our lantern. So I think you guys kinda get the idea. I'm gonna go ahead and attach to the top right here. Make sure I secure right here in the back. And I just wanted to do some snowy branches to kind of go with a snowman. So I'm gonna put this guy right here, kind of going sideways. Then I'm gonna bring my bow in and I'm gonna go ahead and attach this guy as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and cross right here. Sorry to disappear for a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach very tightly on the back. And let me see. Then what we need to do is go ahead and fluff this bow. Make sure some tails go that way. I'm gonna spin it around to look at it real quick. Give it a fluff like this. This is the fun part because you get to really finesse your lantern like this and make sure your snowman is showing like this. And I always like when I have a ribbon like this, you guys, it is so, uh, it has a wire and it's all straight up like that. I don't like the way that looks. I always just like to give it a little crinkle like this to kind of create some character on the ribbon. And I like to do that on all my ribbons that are wired. All right, so, so far so good. Then the last thing I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these clip-ons, but before I do that, I like to um, fluff them a little bit, pull in the curly cue so they extend them shapes. And then what I like to do is just go in with my clip 
and clip this guy to some of the branches right here. And that's why I like the clip idea. So thank you, Walmart, for coming up with this amazing idea. And as you guys can see, you can elongate this all the way down because you can clip it anywhere that you want. As long as you have a branch to clip it on. See you guys, it extends that greenery. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a few more. I'm gonna spin in my way so I can see. If you guys are enjoying this series, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more lantern videos, let me know. I'll be more than glad to show you guys a few more ideas with items from perhaps Walmart and Hobby Lobby. All right, I'm gonna just clip this guy right here. And just like that, you have this beautiful lantern decorated for the holidays with a snowman theme and lime green, red and white. I also love the way this turned out. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Are you guys having fun watching these lanterns decorated for Christmas? I hope you are learning a few tricks of the trade so you can put your very own Christmas lantern together this holiday season. Now I want to mention that all of the lanterns are going to be linked down below just in the way they are appearing in case you wanna watch the full video. But right now I'm gonna show a beautiful glam lantern that I really think you're going to enjoy. Keep watching. So basically what I did is I'm gonna grab my three ribbons, they're layered together, they're already dovetailed to begin with. I'm gonna do a little pinch right here and I'm gonna start right here on the back. All right, so just how we did with our wreath that matches the lantern, I'm gonna go ahead and fluff my magnolia right here and every single item on this pick that has a wire you have to go ahead and touch and give it some life never ever for any circumstances put a pick on a garland or a wreath flat how it comes from the box now i want to go ahead and show you that with this particular one i'm going to go ahead and just insert right here with my garland and i'm going to go as far up as i can and then using my bristles right here i'm going to go ahead and attach now the way we're going to make this stay is we're gonna pull some of those bristles as well and go right here where the magnolia is. So you have to attach in about two to three points and it's not gonna go anywhere. All right, and then you pull your ribbon, you fluff your uh, flower and your ornaments and look how gorgeous that is. I'm gonna do one here on the top so you can see it. Keep watching. Okay, since these are really long, what I need to do is cut them short and always put your scissors and your wire cutters right here in your pocket. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and attach one right here on the very top and I'm gonna go through the magnolia or under the magnolia and grabbing some of these bristles right here. Then I'm gonna go right here and attach the stem. Now we do flatten out our ribbon, but remember that we never put anything on our homes until it's all fluffed. So it doesn't matter if you get it flat, we then go ahead and fluff as you guys can see. All right, so then I'm gonna go ahead and attach one more time right here, just to make sure that this is not going anywhere. And then you can go ahead and fluff your little flower. And look how gorgeous that is. I'm so excited. I love it. All right, so this is going to be our last magnolia and I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. And I'm gonna make sure that I go under the magnolia and do my first attachment right here. So that way my stem is going to go and then you can bend any of this foliage right here and then grab two more of your bristles. I sure wanna know how many times I said bristle. If you guys counted it, last time you guys counted my like so and I finally stopped saying like so. So I wanna know how many times I said bristle. So if you have a count, write it down below. And that's gonna be our last of these picks. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my next item, which is going to be our ornament clusters, and I'll be right back, so keep watching. Okay, so I went ahead and attached all of the clusters all throughout the garland. However, right here, because we have the bow, I didn't wanna overpower it, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna attach just the biggest ornament. I'm gonna nestle it right here, and with my wire, I'm gonna make sure that I go through my garland, because we wanna make sure that it's attached to it. Pull that wire all the way back, 
and see you can make you can see that the ornament is gonna stay and then just go ahead and swirl it around one of these bristles <laughs> and it's gonna stay right there in place and you just go ahead and fluff your bow we'll do some of the fluffing at the end but so far so good then what I have is this beautiful pick that you guys saw me do on the wreath. I think we only need about five. This one I do need to glue because I don't wanna, um, I wanna make sure they stays where I want it to stay. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut about four inches and I'm gonna start right here actually. So I'm gonna dip into my glue, make sure that you get enough so it stays. And I'm gonna start right here because that's what's really gonna add that extra oomph to your wreath and your garland. This is something that I always recommend you guys. If you see the video with the Christmas tree, I use something very similar to it to give it that extra 3D effect that it really does need. So I'm gonna go ahead and cross it right here and I'm gonna go ahead and add one right here. And as you guys can see, it really extends the shape. Okay, I have to admit, working on that particular swag for that lantern was so much fun and I was covered in glitter by the time I got down, but I don't think there's anything prettier for the holiday season than rose gold and gold put together with a little bit of silver. Now that lantern was a lot of fun and I also did a matching wreath that if you have not seen, it was perfectly coordinated to this particular look and I'm gonna put it on the iCard and also on the description box below in case you guys have not seen it, you can check it out. However, next we have a gorgeous lantern that I did that is also in an urn is going to be done in two steps once we're going to do the lantern and then second step is going to be the urn then we're going to put it all together and i really hope you enjoy it let's watch okay you guys so to get this planter with a lantern started for outdoors we're going to do is we're going to grab a piece of garland i have uh, grabbed this this is kind of like a centerpiece thing that you decorate however i like the shape it's not quite the teardrop it's not quite the swag it is just a centerpiece but what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to bend it right here in half and using the bristles from this garland or from this centerpiece i'm going to go ahead and attach right here to the top and i'm just going to do a few points that way i make sure that it's very secure and it's not gonna come crashing down on us. But as you can see, I like it because it is even on both sides. And then to reinforce it, I'm gonna grab one of these wires and I'm gonna go ahead and wire this guy down just to double secure it because we are going to load it up with some product. All right, so then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the excess of this wire. Like I said, this is just to make sure that it's not going anywhere. And trust me when I tell you, it's not going anywhere. All right, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna make a bow and we're gonna use the same ribbons that we're gonna use on the plain shirt outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this plastic off. Isn't this pretty? Look, all of the glitter. And then I have this silk ribbon that is like a uh, olive green. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just go ahead and drop both on the floor. And to make the green pop even more, I love it because it's embroidered, it's so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and put this mesh one. And what I like about the mesh one is because you can stretch it or you can pull it to make it thinner. But for this occasion, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just pull on it so it's thinner than the one on the bottom. And I love this combination. It's very natural looking and very regal at the same time. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and give it a few tails. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pretty right about here. Then I'm gonna grab my bristle, cause you guys are counting how many times I say bristle this Christmas series. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just cut right about here. We're gonna just cut right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and do some loops, bringing that really pretty ribbon forward and making sure that the embroidery is forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a loop right here. Then I'm gonna pinch, then I'm gonna swirl then I'm gonna split and I'm gonna do it one more time. So basically a smaller one, just pinch, 
right here and then like this and what you want to do with your ends you want to go ahead and dovetail them so they look finished this is going to be really pretty it's going to have a really pretty wreath on the urn i'm going to go ahead and pull this one down a little bit like this and then i'm going to go ahead and dovetail and we want to make sure that we do the same so let me finish dovetailing these ribbons and i'll be right back with you stay tuned Okay, so so far I just went ahead and looped this going down on both sides. And I want to point out how the ribbon just stretches and look how pretty it looks, you guys. You can just stretch it out as far as you want. This also is going to be used in one of my Christmas trees at my house. So you will have to stay tuned for that. All right, so the next step is going to be to make a bow. And I want to make a really loopy bow. And what I like about this particular silk ribbon, it's because it really gives it a really rich look to your design because there's nothing prettier during the holidays than rich materials to me. And it just makes it look more expensive. Look how gorgeous that just glitters and glistens. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a cute little bow and nothing too extravagant because we're gonna use some ornaments and some picks. So maybe about a four, a four loop bow just to have an accent of fabric on the top and to be cohesive with the bottom which it'll be our lantern. All right, so somehow like that. So now, oops, my scissors, sorry if I disappear. I'm gonna cut right here. So I'm gonna cut my ribbon here and I'm gonna cut right there. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually go ahead. I'm actually gonna tie it. I was not gonna tie it, but you know what? I feel like, why not? We're already doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a wire. And then how many of you start working and then you decide in the moment whether you wanna do it or not? Because I want you to know that's how I work. Sometimes I'm working, I'm like, I thought I was going to do something, but then I decide to go against my own idea. So I know I'm not the only one out there. All right, so this is what it's going to look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just tie it with, a, with this wire right here. I'm going to use to loop through here. So I'm going to pull, and then I'm going to tie this right here just to secure it make sure that it doesn't come crashing down because remember this is going to go outside so you want to make sure that if you're doing any bows they are very tight and then i want to show you right here how my ribbon is and i want to show you the trick with this ribbon look how gorgeous that is ah oh, so pretty thumbs up for this ribbon then i'm going to bring this these tails and then i'm going to go ahead and give my dovetail right here perfect once again, you can just pull on that ribbon. Look at that. How adorable is that? All right, I'm gonna finish fluffing this bow and I'll be right back with you to show you the next step. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, so we've added all of the ribbons and I mean ribbons, look how gorgeous that looks. Oh, I don't know if the light catches it, but it's just so pretty. So the next thing I'm going to add is gonna be some of these flocked or snow cedar picks. And I'm gonna start right here on the top and I want it to come forward so I'm gonna go ahead and insert that right there and just grab one of your bristles and go ahead and twist it like this. And that's gonna make sure that it's secure on your garland. And I'm gonna do two on each side. So I want this one to and look at it down even further down so it cascades down. So I'm gonna grab my bristles. I'm gonna make sure that I insert into the garland. Then grab one of your bristles and just twist it into this pick and just make sure that you do secure the one on the top, but it's no science, just use the bristles on, the, on this and look how much texture that gave to the design. I'm gonna do the other side and I'll show you in a second what it looks like, keep watching. Okay, so the next item I'm going to add is going to be some of these glitter picks and I selected some gold and some of the greens to go with our theme. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and add one at a time. So I just want it to be right here and I'm gonna go ahead and just once again, just insert this guy like so and then grabbing a bristle, just twist it to secure it and look, it's not going anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a gold one. I'm gonna take a step ladder down and if you guys been following the channel, you know I like to talk about step ladders what happens on the right happens on the left. What goes up must come down. Those are my rules of design that I've actually made up myself because they help me remember where the placement of the things go. And then also, um, if I just keep that in mind, then I'll know that if I put something on the top, then it has to come down. And then if I put one on, I have to take a step down. All right, I'm going to repeat on the other side and I'll be right back with you. 
Okay, so the next item I'm gonna add is I'm gonna add two of these really pretty picks with the pine cone and the pomegranate. They're on this gold and it's so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and add it right here. And once again, by adding one of the bristles, just go ahead and grab one and then twist it. And it's sure secure to be and not go anywhere. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side, right on the other side on the same place. And look at that, how pretty is that? And once again, just grab one of these bristles, twist it around and twist it around this pine cone and it should secure it. That easy, how cool is that? All right, you guys, so to finish it off, I have already started on the other side and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add some of this coral looking glitter stem. This is so full of glitter and so pretty. And what's going to happen is you have to give it right here a crinkle. So that way it latches onto your garland very easily. And you can just put it right there. You can glue it if you want to, but you know what I always tell you not to glue it because then you can take it apart at the end of the season and then just reuse it. But as you guys can see, I'm just going on a step ladder motion once again going down. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of my bristles and secure this one right here, just with a little tip to make sure that it's not going anywhere. I need to make sure that, yep. I'm gonna do one more at the bottom and then we'll be done and we'll go outside and put the plan turn together so you guys can see it all put together. So keep watching. All right, you guys, so we are outside. So excuse the noise, there's cars going by, but I just wanna talk about this urn that I'm gonna set my lantern on. So I went ahead and put a wreath down and I secured it with wire so that way it's not moving and it's not going anywhere. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab some of the same snow picks and I'm gonna go ahead and insert this and just twist it with my bristle. We're gonna secure it so it's not going anywhere. Now, always remember when you're doing a wreath, always go the same way. Keep that in mind that you'll always have a balanced look. So just do a clockwise motion and then continue to go and make sure that you make them go droop down or go down because that way it looks more intentional. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another one right here. All right, you guys, so so far we've added the wreath that we secured with the wire down. Then we added a few picks of snowed flocked cedar and some glitter cedar. And then after that, I added these beautiful ribbons. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of these garlands. They have the copper and the gold in it, which is gonna go well with our theme. But I wanna start right here on the front because we're gonna swag it. So I'm gonna let it hang a little bit. Then I'm gonna grab one of my bristles. Once again, I'm gonna twist it into the garland. Then I'm gonna let it hang down a little bit and then I'm gonna come up. Instead of using the big ornaments like I used on the lantern, I wanna use this garland. You don't have to have the same element, but you do have to have something that is similar so that way it ties it all together. I told you it was so much fun and I love the colors, you guys. That sage green and silver and that ribbon that stretches was just absolutely gorgeous. But now I'm gonna show you how I decorate this gorgeous lantern to match our theme with this tree right here that you guys are seeing. If you have not seen this tree, by the way, I'm also gonna put it in the description box below so you guys can check it out. It was so much fun to change the look of a green tree and make it more like a flock tree. It was just so much fun. All right, so let's get started. For this lantern, of course, we're gonna use a lantern. I'm just gonna explain as I go, but I would really like to ask you to give this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying it. And then also to follow me on my Instagram for daily Insta stories behind the scenes and all of the things that you do not get to see here on YouTube. 
The description to all of my social medias are going to be linked down below. And also remember that we have the lives on Fridays on Facebook. So if you want to follow along the live videos on Fridays, you head over to Facebook. That is going to be also linked down below. All right, you guys. So the very first thing I did for this lantern is I went ahead and covered the bottom of my Kindle stick with silver ornaments just to cover all of it. And I put a little bit of moss because I like it to be a little bit of texture in there. So now I'm going to close it. We're going to put a candle in there in a minute and I'll show you, but I'm going to put that to the side. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to do a swag. And to do that swag, I'm going to start with a cute little bow and it's going to be very, very simple. I think you're really going to enjoy this one because it is so simple to make. So basically we're going to grab a little bit of this ribbon that match the tree. And I really loved reading your comments on this particular tree. I had so much fun putting it together and I just am so glad that you guys loved it. So many positive comments. All right, so now I'm gonna grab a little bit of this as well. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little loop like this. And then I'm gonna pinch really, really hard. And I'm gonna leave a longer tail. So we're done with this guy. Then I'm gonna introduce this one right here. And I'm gonna do about a little shorter of a tail. Then I'm gonna pinch like this. And I'm going to do yet another loop about the same size. And the best way to know is like you pull up, so then you fold and you gather like this. And I'm also gonna do a shorter tail right here and I'll dovetail in a minute. I'm gonna put this to the side. Now I'm gonna grab a wire. You guys know I always like to have pre-cut wire right next to me because, well, you never know when you're gonna need it. And so I'm gonna push really tight and I'm going to twist twice. And so we have a very simple bow. Make sure you dovetail these ribbons, because as you know, if I'm at your house and they're not dovetail, I will ask you for a pair of scissors and I will do it for you. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to dovetail. Are you guys enjoying this season? I had so much fun so far, and we still have so many videos and ideas your, coming your way that I cannot wait to share with you. So stay tuned for the rest we're just getting started basically, so I cannot wait to share with you. I'm gonna put this to the side. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a cute little swag. And for that, I have some of the elements that I used on the tree. I'm first gonna use one of these swags. I'm gonna give this a curvature like this so I can attach it. Then I'm gonna bring this one right here to hang. And I just love the way this looks. It is very dramatic. If you know me, you know I like drama but only the one in the decor. I really, I'm not a drama person. I don't even, I used to watch The Real Housewives for the drama and I just kind of got old as I got older. I just don't like drama because life is just too beautiful to live it full of drama. All right, so I'm gonna do this right here. Notice that I put it sideways, it's not flat, so that way there is some texture between picks. Now I'm gonna add this poinsettia right here. And so I'm gonna dovetail all of this together, not dovetail, I'm gonna attach with this, um, I said dovetail because I just looked at the ribbon and in my brain I was like, oh, make sure they're dovetail, but I didn't make sure that they were dovetail, I talked about it. All right, so I'm going to zip tie this all together like this. Then I'm gonna grab my cutters. And I'm gonna cut that excess. And so now I'm gonna bring this cute little simple bow and I'm going to attach right here like this, and then I'm just gonna give it a twist. And then I have these two ornaments. They're clustered together, and I just need two. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put them right here in the middle where the bow is. That is just this, the easiest way is to just attach these wires together like this, because you wanna use these wires to attach to the lantern. But before we attach to the lantern, what I need to do is make sure that they are fluffed, quaffed, and ready. See how simple that was? And now you have your ribbons right here. We'll fluff in a second. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this to my lantern. Sorry if I disappear right here. And I'm gonna give it a fluff. I'm gonna put a candle in there and I'll show you what it looks like. Keep watching. All right, you guys, so this is the way that it looks like. As you guys can see, it matches perfectly with the Christmas tree and I love it. I put a real candle in there because it is a perfect way 
to diffuse your candles this holiday season and they look absolutely adorable and they serve a purpose. I had so much fun sharing with you guys these five decorating ideas for your lanterns inside and outside and I really hope you enjoyed this video so be sure to give me a comment down below. Let me know what do you think and which one is your favorite and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share with a friend on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on message, on WhatsApp, any way that you want to share it so they know what we're doing here Ramona Home. If you enjoyed this video I'm going to link up the tree right here, the matching tree to this lantern and all of the videos are going to be linked down below in their full length so you can enjoy them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Consider subscribing. You can watch more videos right now. Until next time. Bye.